Hello students, welcome to EPG Path Sala. I am Dr. Or Papa Amal, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Science and Humanities, Avinash Lingam Institute for Home Science and Higher Education for Women. Now we are going to see about sources of natural antioxidants and antioxidant supplements. Antioxidants are substances that prevent or delay deterioration of a product or they are capable of counteracting the damaging effects of oxidation in animal tissues. Oxidation reactions can form free radicals and these start chain reactions that damage the cells. Antioxidants terminate these chain reactions by removing free radical intermediates and inhibit other oxidation reactions. Antioxidants are of various types with each having its own unique benefit to our body. They are easily available through our diet or dietary supplements. Antioxidants are substances which are capable of reducing the causes or effects of oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is caused by environmental factors, diseases, infection, inflammation and aging. It will produce reactive oxygen spaces. The reactive oxygen spaces includes free radicals, and other oxygenated molecules resulting from these factors. The body produces some endogenous antioxidants but dietary antioxidants may provide an additional line of defense and hence they are vital. Flavonoids and other polyphenolics vitamin C and vitamin E and carotenoids are the most common dietary antioxidants. Many herbs and herbal products also contain antioxidants. Antioxidants and can be classified into three types. They are enzymatic and non-enzymatic antioxidants. The second one is natural and dietary sources of antioxidants and the third one is defense antioxidants. Coming to the further classification of antioxidants, the enzymatic antioxidants can be classified into different types depending upon the action. Catalase, peroxidase, glutathione, peroxidase and another one is superoxide, dismutase and all. The dietary antioxidants are classified into nutrient and non-nutrient antioxidants. These are some of the nutrient and non-nutrient antioxidants. Coming to the natural antioxidants point of view. These are some of the natural antioxidant components and another one is food which is containing high level of these antioxidants. Vitamin C is rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Vitamin B2 is rich in liver, kidney, cheeks. Vitamin E is rich in vegetable oils. Polyphenols are rich in tea, coffee, fruits, chocolate and all. The carotenoids are rich in fruits, vegetables and eggs. Diet rich in natural antioxidants can influence the increase of reactive antioxidant potential of the organism. Natural antioxidants are plant polyphenolic compounds that may occur in all parts of the plant. Example, flavonoids, cinnamic acid and its derivatives, coumarins and polyfunctional organic acids. Vitamins and minerals also possess antioxidant activity. Example, beta carotene, vitamin C, vitamin E and some of the minerals are manganese, selenium, copper and iron. Now we are going to see that how vitamins act as antioxidants. Now we are going to see about carotenoids. 
different types of carotene compounds are alpha, beta and delta. Alpha and beta carotene are the powerful antioxidants. Beta carotene is an anti-aging factor. Micronutrients play a significant role in reducing the effects of certain diseases like cancer. Like beta and alpha carotene, it play a very important role and also it is present in foods like green leafy vegetables, carrots, sweet potatoes, kiwi, etc. Coming to the sources of carotenoids. In the animal foods, vitamin A is present in the form of retinol and its allied organic compounds which are highly bioavailable. Though expensive, eggs are the good sources of vitamin A and other nutrients and advocated as a measure to prevent vitamin A deficiency. Over 80% of the daily supply of vitamin A in the Indian human diets, it is derived from precursors such as beta carotene, alpha carotene, gamma carotene and beta cryptosanthin which are present in many plant foods. Among these carotenoids, beta carotene has a highest vitamin A activity which is abundantly present in green leafy vegetables and yellow orange fruits and vegetables like mango, papaya, carrots etc. Coming to the health benefits of beta carotene, it will fight against cancer. Many epidemiological studies have found that a high intake of foods rich in beta carotene is correlated with a reduced risk of certain cancers. The most definite correlation is with reduced risk of lung cancer. Beta carotene has also been associated with reduced risk of cancer of the female reproductive system gastrointestinal system and mouth, gums and trachea. The beta carotene also fight with cardiovascular diseases. It may also be an important nutritional weapon in the fight against cardiovascular diseases. Supplemental intake of beta carotene has been shown to reduce the incidence of angina in a small sample of men who had previously had heart attacks and also the beta carotene fight against cataracts. Cataracts are areas of opacity in the lens of the eye. The formation has been linked to damage by oxidizing agents and free radicals. People with the low serum carotenoid levels had more than five and a half a times risk the developing cataracts than those with high serum carotenoid levels. Although the lens of the eye contains little beta carotene, it has been suggested that the beta carotene may protect against cataract simply by decreasing the level of oxidative damage in the body as a whole. And also the beta carotenoids fight against gastric inflammation. Now we are going to see the next vitamin. It will act like an antioxidant that is vitamin E. Vitamin E includes all compounds that exhibit biological activity of alpha tocopherol. Eight compounds with the vitamin E activity are found in nature. Four are tocopherols and the other four are tocotrienols. The main function of vitamin E within the body is to act as antioxidant. Antioxidants or substances that to protect other chemicals of the body from damaging oxidation reaction by reacting with oxidation agents within the body. Vegetable oils, nuts and whole grams are the richest natural sources of vitamin E. For example, wheat gram oil contains 120 milligram of tocopherol in 100 gram of oil. Rice bran oil contains high amount of unsapanifiable compounds such as tocotrienols and oraisinol which have antioxidant activity. It is present in very small quantities in lettuce, grasses and embryos of many seeds.
In general, plant foods are richer sources of vitamin E than animal foods. Vitamin E content of vegetable oil is found to be higher than many other food stuff. When the oil is heated to their smoking points, appreciable amount of tocopherols are lost. When the oils are oxidized in the presence of air, peroxide are formed and the tocopherols are destroyed. The beneficial effects of vitamin E include decrease the risk of oral and pharyngeal cancer and cardiovascular diseases. The next vitamin it will act like an antioxidant is vitamin B2, riboflavin. Vitamins are substances the body needs in small amounts to support most body function and prevent disease. Most water soluble vitamins support enzyme system in the body. Riboflavin being an antioxidant, it does not have any significant inherent antioxidant action. But powerful antioxidant activity is derived from its role as a precursor of FAD and FMN. FAD stands for flavin adenine nucleotide and FMN stands for flavin mononucleotide. These are important coenzymes required by a number of enzymes involved in oxidative metabolism in particular glutathione reductase. Increased hepatic lipid peroxidation associated with riboflavin deficiency is prevented by riboflavin supplementation. Coming to the sources of vitamin B2, a good sources of riboflavin are milk and milk products which includes skimmed milk, buttermilk, curds, cheese and whey and also eggs, liver and green leafy vegetable. Tender leaves contain more riboflavin than mature ones. The next vitamin it will act like an antioxidant is vitamin C. Otherwise it is called ascorbic acid. The chemical name of vitamin C is ascorbic acid which is a simple compound containing 6 carbon atoms. The oxidized form of ascorbic acid also known as dehydroascorbic acid and also has vitamin C activity. The oxidation product of dehydroascorbic acid has no vitamin C activity. Man, monkey, guinea pig and Indian fruit eating bat and red vented bulbul require a supply of vitamin C in their diet. In plants, vitamin C accumulates during the ripening process and is presumably synthesized within the plant cells from naturally occurring glucose. Vitamin C is a unique antioxidant and in certain condition it has a specific role in preventing reactive oxygen species mediated oxidative damage of mammalian tissue. Most animals synthesize their own requirement of vitamin C but humans cannot. Humans are totally dependent upon dietary intake of the vitamin C. Ascorbic acid is a multifaceted compound which is beneficial and harmful depending upon the sensitive balance of its concentration. Vitamin C is especially dangerous in the presence of high body ion which promotes the formation of harmful free radicals. Moreover, antioxidants in pharmacological quantities found supplements often produce billions of harmful free radicals. Antioxidant vitamins naturally present in food or a balanced mixer of redox with reduced and oxidized form along with several other compounds which may also be beneficial. Whereas every supplement pill including those containing vitamin C is unbalanced in this respect. Hence the naturally occurring antioxidants have many advantages 
over synthetic ones. Vitamin C function as an anti-inflammatory and helps the body fight inflammatory diseases which includes fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, angina, bronchitis and canker sores. Vitamin C is a biological reducing agent especially during hydroxylation reaction and it is an antioxidant that protects the body against damaging oxidizing agents. Ascorbic acid occurs widely in plant foods, particularly in fresh fruits and vegetables, especially green leafy vegetables. Amla is the richest source of vitamin C. Goa, orange and lime are also good sources of vitamin C. However, when dry pulses and beans are allowed to germinate, vitamin C is formed in the grain and the growing sprout. About 85% of being present in the former and 15% in the later part. Heating or drying the fresh fruits or vegetables usually leads to destruction of most of the vitamin C. Amla is an exception among the fruits not only because of its high acidity, high vitamin C content but also because it contains substances which partially protect the vitamin from destruction on heating or drying. Coming to the sources of vitamin C, broccoli, strawberries, kale, citrus fruits like oranges, limes and lemons, tomatoes, cabbage, watermelon, potatoes and spinach. The vitamin C content of food is maximized by some of the process. They are harvesting at the peak of maturity. The second one is storing in cool moist place. Limiting the exposure to air and sunlight. Eating fruits immediately after cutting. Eating vegetable preparation immediately after cooking. The beneficial effects of vitamin C is which is reduce the risk of upper gastrointestinal tract, cervical cancer and cardiovascular diseases. Some of the non-nutrients as antioxidants are polyphenols. Natural antioxidants include plant polyphenolic compounds that may occur in all parts of the plants. Example which include flavonoid compounds, cinnamic acid derivatives, coumarins and polyfunctional organic acid. Some minerals also possess antioxidant activity notably selenium, manganese, zinc, copper and ion. Selenium, manganese, zinc, copper and ion are compounds of the antioxidant enzymes such as glutathione peroxidase. Manganese as superoxide dismutase. Copper and zinc for component of the superoxide dismutase and the catalase respectively. Some of the foods which are considered as rich sources of antioxidant phytochemicals are garlic, onion, ginger, oats, sweet potato, soya bean, tea, oil seeds, herbs and spices. Black pepper, oregano, rosemary and turmeric have been shown to possess antioxidant activity. Oil seeds like mustard and rapeseed contain phenolic compounds. Canola and mustard flour as such are their extract possess strong antioxidant activity. Tea has been shown to contain several polyphenolic compounds and their derivatives which are reported to possess antioxidant activity. Colon cancer appears to show a negative association with tea consumption. So these are some of the food materials and the compounds, antioxidants which are present in this food compounds. The next non-nutrient is flavonoids. They are polyphenolic phytochemicals that are in over 4000 naturally occurring substances which provide color, texture and a taste for plant foods. Flavonoids cannot be synthesized by human beings. Leguminous plants are rich sources of 
flavonoids. So these are some of the flavonoids as well as its source. Coming to that anthocyanins. The anthocyanins belong to a class of compounds known as flavonoids and they impart red, purple and blue colors to fruits and vegetables and also in wine. Anthocyanins are soluble in water and they leak out of fruits and vegetable tissues during cooking. They are sensitive to changes in acidity which cause them to change the color. Glutathione also, it is a tripeptide, it will act like an antioxidant. The sources of glutathione are garlic, broccoli, onions, dairy products, oats, chicken and watermelon. The uric acid can able to act like an antioxidant. It is mainly present in sweetbreads, liver, beef, meat extract etc. A food with a high phytonutrient content such as antioxidant, fibers, selenium, omega-3 fatty acid may offer health benefits. So these are all present in wheat grass, noni and cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, coconut oil and spirulina. That antioxidants is not sufficient we can supply through supplements. It is often seen that we do not get adequate antioxidants through our diet. In such a case, dietary supplements rich in antioxidants prove to be a beneficial alternative. These supplements can also be taken together with a nutritious diet and a daily exercising for best results. Research has shown that the cancer patient have experienced a remarkable improvement in their immune system with the antioxidant supplements. In addition, vegetarians can also supplement their diet with additional antioxidant to make up for what they lose or by consuming non-vegetarian foods. Dietary supplements rich in antioxidants are herbal in nature. The most common antioxidant rich herbs found in these supplements are green tea. Optimum usage of antioxidant rich dietary supplements are the first one is balanced diet. The second one is daily exercise. The third one is we should follow healthy lifestyle. The third one is correct dosage of antioxidant supplements. Antioxidants are nature's gift to us. If they are consumed carefully together with a nutritious diet, healthy lifestyle habits and a daily exercising, we are bound to experience a positively change in our body and we will free from diseases. Coming to the conclusion part of sources of antioxidants and antioxidant supplements, that antioxidants play an important role to prevent cancer and other diseases. They also have a role in slowing aging process and preventing heart diseases. So antioxidants are very much necessary for our body. But our body cannot manufacture these chemicals so they must be supplied through our diet and dietary supplements. The potential sources in our diet can be potatoes, brassica vegetables, coffee, tea, apple, beverages and beer. If the antioxidants are not sufficient in our diet by supplementation, we can meet the requirements and we can lead a healthy life.